guys, Valeros here from the Arc Trade Federation. Today I will be going over the library storage added in the part two or the aberration of Bob's deal or Bob's Tall Tales. This structure is amazing. So unlike the library that you can get with the uh, the bookshelf right here, uh, unlike this, the library storage can actually link up to your structure so you don't have to keep pulling blueprints out, which is awesome sauce. So let's go ahead and pop a tech replicator down here. <clears throat> As you can see, normal tech stuff available, or normal stuff that's available in the replicator. So let's add a library storage. Also, awesome, awesome design. Unlike the vault, it doesn't have 350 item storage, but st still 100 is pretty good. And the fact that you can link it up to other structures, uh, including uh, Fabricator and Smithy, is awesome. This thing has a massive, massive range on it, as you can see there. Going outside my base over to the other side. So anything within that radius, you can link to this. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and hide range. So you're going to go up to the structure that you want to link to this, and let's rename this. Rename library, come on. Server's probably lagging. Let's rename this test lib. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put a blueprint in there also. So we're gonna go up to our replicator. We're going to go to blueprint sharing, add connection, and we're going to add test lib. As you can see, I have another one down here. So we've added test lib to this. And you're gonna go up here and you're gonna find the folder. Now, if you don't change the name of this, it's just going to show up as library storage. But if you change the name of your uh, library storage, it will show up as that name in the structure. So we're gonna to go to test lib, and there you go. There's the blueprint that we wanted to craft. So we're gonna go ahead and turn our replicator on, and this is the part that I like most about this. Oh, before we get to that, you can actually show, uh, where was it? Show connections. There you go. Boom, it's pulling from that. And let's go over here and see if we have a smithy and a fabricator that we can add to this as well. Just to show you that you can use them. One really cool thing about this is now that you can pull the blueprints from the library storage, you no longer need to learn the ammo blueprints. You can craft them straight from your replicator. You don't have to pull them, go hunting for them. You can have a separate library storage for your ammo, and you can go into your ammo and craft whatever you're wanting, which is awesome. All right, so we do not have test lib in here, so we're going to go to uh, we're going to hold E down, bring up the radial menu, go to blueprint sharing, add connection, test lib. So now we can craft up, oh, up, oh, where is it at? And since it's not a craftable structure in the fabricator, it won't show up, but it should show up in the, yep, there it is. So it should show up in there. Let's go grab a fabricated sniper rifle blueprint because that's not crafted in the smithy. Assault rifle will do, plus hunting for me. Let's go throw this in the test library. <clears throat> there we go, test library has our assault rifle. And as you can see, underneath it, it's got that little book outline or uh, watermark on there to show that it's in the library. Now if we go over to our smithy we shouldn't be able to craft the fabricated sniper rifle in there. But since the tech replicator can craft absolutely everything under the sun, except for stuff that needs to be crafted in the uh, 
the poor little old, uh, Kim bench, but it covers these structures, so that's all we need. Since it can do all of it, boom, there you go, both of them in there. Have them separated, you can have your armor, your saddles, weapons, like I said, ammo. Uh, they don't have any structure blueprints that I've found so far, so sad on that that you're still going to have to learn the engrams for that, but should help you out in the long run. Now the coolest part about this, the thing that I like most about this library is that if I unlock this tech replicator and I leave my tribe, I've already double checked to make sure that I'm still in my, that my, my alts and admin, so I got that covered. If I leave my tribe, make sure I'm not the owner, that would be bad, and open this tech replicator, I can still access these blueprints. So if you set up a community center close to your base or somewhere else and you throw extra blueprints in there, people on your server are going to be able to use those blueprints to craft some of these in-game saddles. This is going to be a huge, huge perk for newer players and it's going to help out so much, so much. I, uh, I can't wait to set up one of these on my server. I have the perfect location for it and I've been hinting at it to the people on my server that I was going to set one up, so it's going to be great. But they have access to those blueprints that normally they couldn't get or the harder blueprints to find like the Rex saddles and the Giga and Karchar saddles. Some of those can be a pain in the butt to find, but having them here that you can share is awesome. And with you sharing them like this, you don't have to worry about somebody, you know, some some beach bob coming over to your base saying that he wants to borrow your blueprint and then snatching it out of your tech replicator and running away. You don't have to worry about that anymore because here it is safe and sound inside the library storage. As you can see, it's locked. I can't access it. I can't pull trying to drag it out. I can't pull the blueprint out of here. It is stuck inside there. I can craft it, but I can't pull it out, which is awesome. Anyways, guys, that is the library storage. I hope you guys found the video useful. If you did, please like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.